All right, going to hop into another swing check here for my buddy Dominic. This is Ryan from Golf Fit. As we take a look here, um, clearly we're hitting a set, uh, looks like maybe an 8-iron or 9-iron into a par 3. Um, let's take a look at this swing. So, Dominic, you got a good setup, nothing wrong there. As we take the club away, you got a lot of the hands and wrists taking the club away, which is fine. Everybody's got their own unique style. You can see the club goes slightly inside the hands there. Nothing wrong with that either. Get you up to the top position. You've got a good top position. No, no worries there. No complaints. You've got a bent right knee, which is great. Loading into your quads and hamstrings. Um, you have a shorter abbreviated swing here. Um, that may not be your consistent backswing, but it looks like that's what you're doing in this case. Now, you have a great golf swing. Uh, for the most part, you're doing a lot of stuff right. Um, where I see some complications you might run into is with the um, woods, like your, your three wood, your driver, maybe some hybrids. And the reason I say that is because I did see one of the other videos that you sent me where it looked like you were slicing your, your fairway wood. Now, when you get up to the top, the reason why that happens is you have an initial movement at the top of the golf swing where you go this way when you want to bring the club down. So rather than shallowing the club out, you get the club up to the top. See how the, see how the shaft of the golf club is here? And then you go into your transition and now the shaft of the golf club has moved, not only has it moved forward, but now it's very steep, okay? And so that's a that's an over the top transition which it's not dramatic and it's definitely playable especially with the shorter irons however if you're doing that same movement which it looks like you were in that video i saw with your longer clubs that's where you're going to have some serious problems because when the shaft comes down super steep like that it's going to force you to swing left and across the golf ball, which is what takes place here. So if I get rid of all the lines, you can see that the club face is going to cut directly left across the golf ball. And you can see that follow through goes dead left. And that's why your exit point is here just below your left rib cage. Whereas if you look at a lot of the tour pros, their exit point is going to be over the left shoulder because they're swinging more from the inside and they're swinging more out to that first base or right field position. And so this is going to work really well for you in instances where you're trying to purposely hit a cut. But if you want to be able to hit draws, you're going to have to really do a, a, a better job of shallowing out the club in your transition. So I'll give you an example of what that would look like. So if you get here to the top of your swing, Instead of having that, see how the shoulder wants to go forward and up? It goes like up and then wants to come over. And so it's going into um, it's going into a forward rotation as you start down rather than uh, rotating externally. It wants to go internally. And so you ideally would have the shaft of the golf club dropping down into this area versus where you currently are. Okay, and so if you can do that, it'll allow you to attack more from the inside and swing further out, which will then put left spin on the ball and bring it back to your intended target. Okay, so I hope that helps. As always, aim small, swing smooth, peace.